So if we look inside of uh, uh, the group of libertarians, what do they look like? Well, first of all, they're overwhelmingly white. Um, so white and non-Hispanic. So here's the general population in uh, yellow, uh, libertarians uh, in orange. 94% of libertarians are white, non-Hispanic uh, Americans. Uh, they're also overwhelmingly male. Um, Two-thirds uh, are male compared to about half of the country. Uh, they also um, are more likely to be young uh, than the than general population. So 62% are under the age of 50 um, here compared to just 53% uh, of the country. Uh, so that's uh, race, and, uh, race, gender, and age. What about religious affiliation? Um, here uh, also, very interesting, I pulled out these two big wedges uh, a little bit to take a look at them. One that immediately stands out are the unaffiliated. Uh, so uh, much more likely than other conservative groups to be religiously unaffiliated. Also 27% um, mainline. So between these two groups, uh, mainline Protestants and unaffiliated, we have a majority of libertarians, so 54% just between these two groups uh, in, in the country. Um, the, one of the groups that stands out, um, this green wedge at the bottom, 11%, uh, liber uh, libertarians about half as likely to be Catholic um, as the country, as another um, kind of interesting finding. So overwhelmingly uh, unaffiliated and uh, white mainline Protestant in terms of religious breakdown. Uh, and just to give you a comparison here, so this is the same numbers across the top that were in the pie chart, uh, but on the Tea Party, you can see uh, uh, some differences here. For example, um, on the Tea Party, uh, more than a third uh, of the Tea Party are white evangelical Protestants compared to only 23% there. And then the other big difference you'll see is on the unaffiliated and among white mainline Protestants, 27 to 19. And then the unaffiliated, um, really big differences, three times as likely, uh, the libertarians three times as likely to be religiously unaffiliated compared to um, uh, those in the Tea Party. Uh, also, you can see, basically, this is predictable by now, but if we look at um, these three groups in the kind of selective conservative constituencies, libertarians, the Tea Party, white evangelicals, across a range of religious measures, uh, begin to see um, a fairly consistent pattern. So here are white evangelical uh, Protestants, you know, 90% believe in God, 44% uh, say religion is the most important thing uh, in their life. Uh, and I'm going to put up the Tea Party next. You'll see um, a little lower measures kind of across the board here, uh, but still fairly high. Three quarters uh, believe in God, and majority say it's necessarily necessary to believe in God, uh, to be moral, about half attend services weekly or more. And the next slide is the group of libertarians uh, here, and you'll see slightly less on pretty much every measure here. Uh, six in ten believe in God, but only 22 percent, half as likely to attend uh, religious services weekly or more, consistent with uh, the higher rates of being unaffiliated, uh, significantly less likely to be um, a biblical literalist, and about half as likely to say that religion is the most important thing in their life. So this kind of less religious profile, generally speaking, uh, certainly compared to um, uh, the Tea Party or white evangelicals. Uh, here are the all-American numbers, uh, just for a reference point. You can see also that uh, libertarians slightly lower than even the, all Americans in the country uh, across most of these measures. Uh, 